Let's take a look at problem number four. Okay. Now um, we need to calculate our midpoints. Actually, let me write down the range here. So I don't have to keep flipping back and forth. 10, 30, 50, 70. And this is 29 to 49. We're adding 20 over and over. That's our class width. So this would be 69, and this would be 89. Okay. So for midpoints, we uh, add the current lower class limit plus the next uh, lower class limit. So we've got 10 plus 30, and we divide by 2. 10 plus 30 is 40. 40 divided by 2 is 20. And since our class width is 20, then this will be 20, then 40, then 60, and then 80. And our frequency was 15, 5, 23, and 35. Now we're going to put the midpoints in L1, and we'll put the frequency in L2. So let's bring up our calculator. Then I'll press my stat button, uh, do enter on edit. I have some numbers there, so I'm going to up arrow, press my clear key one time, and then press my enter. And I'll put my midpoints in. So I got uh, 20, enter, 40, enter, 60, enter, 80, enter. And we want a right arrow key over and put our frequency in L2. So we got 15, enter, 5, enter, 23, enter and 35 enter. Okay, so after we get those in, we want to exit out. So we do second mode, exit out. Clear that. And we're going to do our stat. We do right arrow to calc. And we want to choose one of our stats. So do enter on that. And now do second one comma second two. And uh, then press enter. And let's see what in the world we're trying to find. Uh, sample mean and sample standard deviation. Okay, so for this problem, our sample mean, now I'll take it to two decimal places. Yeah, two decimal places. Right, so our sample mean is going to 60. That's interesting. Uh, and then our sample standard deviation, which is our S, which is SX on this, is 22.79. And those will be your answers to that problem.